Hello everyone, welcome to the Best of Cat series by IMS. My name is Deepak Jaryal. And today we shall be looking at a question on arithmetic. I would recommend that you guys please pause the video, attempt the question, and then restart. I hope everybody had paused the video. And then let's start to see the approach. The question says, suppose hospital A admitted 21 less COVID infected patients than hospital B. So hospital A and hospital B. If hospital B has N patients, so hospital A would have N minus 21. And eventually everybody recovered. The sum of the recovery days for patients in hospital A and B were 200 and 152 respectively. So what I get to know from this is that everybody might be getting different days to, uh, to recover. So the sum of all the days taken by all the patients uh, to recover in hospital A and hospital B are 200 and 152 respectively. So 200 days and 152 days. Furthermore, it is told to us that if the average recovery days for patients admitted in hospital A was three more than the average in hospital B. So how do you find out the average number of days taken by the patients of any of the hospitals to recover? So we know the total number of days divided by the number of patients. That is the average number of days per patient taken by uh, in hospital A taken by the patients to get a recover. So similar thing can be done for hospital B that would be 152 divided by N. And this difference is equal to how much? Three. Now this looks like a bit of calculation because of course it's gonna look like a quadratic and uh, the numbers 200 and 152 are also huge. So in these type of scenarios, what I would recommend is that try to make numbers as small as possible. Now, if you observe 200 and 152, they both are multiples of 8. Now, can I take this 8 common? Let's see if it helps. So, if I take 8 or 8 common from 200, it would make it 25, and we would have n minus 21. And I know 8 times 19 is 152. So, this is 19 by n. This is equal to 3. Now, if I cross multiply, so this would give us 25n minus 19n plus 19 into 21 divided by n minus 21 into n is equal to 3. Now I know 25n minus 19 is n is 6n. So let me write it another step. This is 6n plus 19 into 21 divided by n minus 21 into n is equal to 3. Can I simplify it further? And I can see this is 3. So 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 times 7 is 21. Let's expand this and multiply 8 inside the brackets. It would give us 16n plus 8 into 19 into 7. And on the, side, on the other side, we would have n square minus 21n. Now we've got n here. Let's take this n on the other side. We would have 8 into 19 into 7 is equal to n square minus 37n. So I can take this n common, it would make it n minus 37. Now, as I told you, it is a quadratic, we can solve it. But in these type of situations, I would recommend that, you know, you try to play with the numbers a bit. You know, try to use some arithmetic. Maybe the calculations can be uh, made simpler. If you observe on the right hand side, we've got n into n minus 37. So it's basically product of two numbers. And the difference between those two numbers is 37. So can I create two numbers with the help of these values, 8, 19, and 7, so that the difference between both the numbers is 37? If you observe minutely, you will see that 8 into 7 is 56, and 56 minus 19 is 37. That means the difference between 56 and 19 is 37. So if you want to write in a structured format, this can be written as 56 into 56 minus 37, is it not? Because 56 minus 37 is eventually 19. This is n into n minus 37. So that would tell us that n is equal to 56, is it not? So once I get n is equal to 56, it would be very straightforward for us to find out the value of the number of patients hospital admitted in hospital A. What is the number of patients admitted in hospital A? So 56 minus 21 would give us 35. So 35 is our, I hope everybody is clear. If you've understood the question, please try this replica question and write your answers in the comment section. Thank you so much.